You're a wizard, Harry. You shall not harm Harry Potter. Harry Potter. The boy who lived. Come to die. I'm a regular Jim Dale. A wise man once said, the beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. I choose to not just understand the beer that I drink, but to understand the passion that it takes to create it. This is Geeks on Tap. Welcome to Geeks on Tap, wizards and witches. I'm your host, Jarrett, and it's Hogsmeade weekend at Hogwarts. And I didn't get my permission slip signed. You too? Well, that's okay. We don't need the three broomsticks. We're gonna learn how to make every Hogwarts student's favorite drink, butterbeer, with an old world twist. So grab your wand, huh? Yeah. Pick a cauldron and let's get brewing. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe, and click that bell, click that bell for future episodes. Now, on to the brew. Choose your beer for the base. It's recommended per the recipe to use a spice beer for your base. So this is the beer that I'm gonna use, Shiner Cheer. Cheer is a winter ale that is brewed with peaches and pecans. Next, grab one egg and separate the egg yolk from the egg whites and place it in a bowl. Add one fourth cup of sugar. Combine pumpkin pie spice and cloves to make one teaspoon, then add it to the bowl of sugar. Add spices and sugar to the egg whites. Stir until combined. Pour beer into the pot. Stir the beer to aerate. Test the temperature of the beer with your finger to make sure that it is warm. Stir in your spice and egg mixture. Stir with a whisk consistently for two minutes to make sure that the egg does not cook. Add one tablespoon of butter to beer. Stir until melted. Place strainer over measuring cup. Strain beer as you pour into the cup. Pour beer from the cup into your preferred drinking glass. Accio butter beer. Hey, look at that. Light the glass. I use my Marauder's map to sneak in and snag one. Time to taste our buttery concoction. You can taste the, the pumpkin spice in there because I put it in there. Um, this is really good. Um, one great thing about using a recipe is that you can modify it. So if there's something that you wanna tweak, um, like add more butter, or if you wanna you know, change the spices or even change the base beer that you're gonna be using, this is a really good test to see how you can do basically kind of like a home brew. This is where I got the recipe from for this butter beer. And I did my practice run and I was not happy with the spices that I chose. And I thought it wasn't creamy enough. So I added an extra tablespoon of butter and I chose pumpkin pie spice and cloves for my spice blend. If you use this recipe, feel free to make your own changes. If you have your own recipe for butter beer and you want to share it with us, please leave it in the comments below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this trip to the wizarding world. It was a really fun episode to put together. Don't forget to follow us on social media at Geeks on Tap Show. This has been Jared for Ravenclaw House. I'll see you at the Three Broomsticks, where your next beer is on us. Cheers. Oh, that's magical.